In this video, I took ownership of Mickey Mouse. Okay, that's not exactly true, but recently you might have heard that the original Disney cartoon with Mickey Mouse and its Steamboat Willie hit public domain, which means specifically the version of Mickey in that video and everything else in it is now free to use. So I watched it on stream, live on twitch.tv slash quiet. I'll actually be live there tonight. If you enjoy this video, this big card at the end will take you another like it. And did you know only 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload and you can always undo it later. Anyways, enjoy this upload. So if you guys didn't know, today I believe marked 95 years since 1928 when the original animation including Mickey Mouse first came out. It's this little animation called Steamboat Willie. That being said, it's public domain. I can watch it on stream just fine, man. It's free for anybody to use. Expect to see a lot of like really low quality, low budget bootleg movie type things about um, Mickey Mouse as a horror villain. I think one already got announced today that was definitely being cooked up before this was legal so they only showed it now. Don't don't remember if this was the one that was a little it isn't okay 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 this isn't the right one all right it promotes smoking i am holding a vape i wanted the bad one i don't want to play the bad one if i'm being honest I haven't watched this thing the whole way through so you will be getting my real and genuine reaction this might be best content creator piece of video in the year and it's by me because i made it disney cartoons presents a mickey mouse sound cartoon he was called mickey mouse back then steamboat willie i i'm really glad they changed the way his <laughs> eyes look because this is just unpleasant is that sp I, I don't know if like that's supposed to be something like memory related or if if it's just like clothing design, you know what I mean? Powered by Power Cinephone System, no f way! Okay, how many of y'all in chat are immediately expecting this to be an analog whore? How many of y'all are that inner brain, internet brain poison? Me, me, not me. It, like, this is the thing, you guys don't really, me included, we don't really watch cartoons like this. We only watch modern media inspired by the old cartoons. Bendy, Cuphead, analog whore using like old timey music because it's scary, because it's old, old people are scary. Your grandparents were two years old when this came out? That's actually insane, timeline wise. Oh! Ah, uh, oh, fuck, I already got a powder. <laughs> Not great, not great, not great. This was not a piece of media that could have been made in a world where the internet existed. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. What? Oh, imagine that downstairs, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Listen, it's a, it's 95 years old. It's, it's, it's way older than me. If you think about it, the boat would be the pedophile. If you think about it. That's not fucking real. How do you whistle like that? I've never in my life figured out how to say, like, how to do that shit. The boat is a victim? It's fucking like a hundred! What do you mean? Hyperfixation is going crazy. Can you imagine being hyperfixated on Steamboat Willie? Because there were definitely, like, some very early, like, 20th century, uh, neurodivergent people who just saw this shit and they, like, kept going to the theater and they're like, I don't know what it is, man. I gotta keep watching this shit. The way he's turning that wheel makes it sound like a wrench or some shit. Like, l l listen to that, listen to that. Yeah, yeah, yep, that's definitely a crank. I really do like thinking about, like, all the techniques they used for early sound effects making and shit. Because wasn't it a deal where you, they had to do this all in one take? Live dub the sounds they were doing? They didn't have, like, premiere timelines that crash all the time. They, they couldn't just drag and drop stock sound effects they got off YouTube, so I don't know. Mickey got a gyat. Guys, this was probably a bad idea. I don't know, I don't... <laughs> The way these things are drawn makes it seem as though they breathe and are alive. Do you think these uh, boat whistles are paid fair wages, especially for the time? Do you think they were paid a living wage to blow smoke out their ass? <laughs> bro, you can't put that in. Bro, you can't do that. You can't do that, man. Not a chance. Yeah, but they know they're all getting their pays docked if the last guy doesn't fucking like hit his notes on time. Oh my, dude. Holy shit, dude, he's got really, like, movable intestines. I don't take- don't- okay, for once, I was not making an adult joke. I was just like, that would kill a man. That would kill somebody. They, like, that's the thing with the- that's the thing with this whole animation. Like, we're- we're- it's being made with the workplace standards of the 1920s, and only rich people could go to the theaters. I don't know how true that is. I might have just made that up. They're just, like, thinking about all their minimum wage- did minimum wage exist back then? All of their underpaid employees, where they're like, ha, it is true. I do treat like them like that. They're worth- they're worth less than dirt. ha <laughs> ha. That lip syncing is better than some anime dubs today, man. That was impressive. He didn't even have words to dub to lip sync to. This dude knows what he's doing. I feel kind of bad for Mickey now. I, don't, I, don't, I can't even tell if he's like gone, like he feels bad. He just like went nonverbal. No idea what to do in situations involving even a little bit of stress. Poor Mickey. Oh, that, oh, that was fucking, oh, you felt that. I know you all have made this face to your manager before. 
That was risky. I also know some of y'all have done that to your manager. <laughs> oh, I kicked his own ass. The flexibility is really, really hard to tell. Like, this dude has horrible posture. He's a hunchback, but he can kick all the way over his shoulder. God damn. I, I don't know what it is. Like, you know how we enjoy slapstick comedy these days, but we just call it post-ironic or some shit? These things are just gonna be funny to us because it tickles the same itch, but it's, it's sincere and genuine about it. Comedy has gone full circle. This leg's going full circle. <laughs> Oh, look at this fucking dork. You know, somebody probably needed those. Kind of messed up when a human lands in the mop bucket because that water is now contaminated and can no longer be used to clean the floor. That was definitely a slur. <laughs> Birdo, you can't say that. How is there a random bird? The sentient mouse, the sentient whatever the manager guy is, and the sentient boat horns. All, all plausible. I can I can buy into all that. The bird, though? Nah. -uh. Yeah, dude, were they animated this shit at like 60 FPS back in the day? Because it looks so much like, they're, like there's so many more frames than like animated on 2s, 20 or 4 FPS you see these days. <laughs> You know, he kind of sounds like Peter Griffin if he was high-pitched and not Peter Griffin. They used real animation cells, but like, would, would that be like, is it just animated on ones instead of twos because of that? They were high animating TBH. I mean, yeah, dude, like people were doing like all sorts of stuff back then because there was no drugs outlawed. Actually, I don't know if they had discovered that like the good shit yet. I just know like opioids and like cocaine and stuff wasn't outlawed until like the 60s, 70s. <laughs> That bucket is made out of legit aluminum foil. I, I love how fat is just redistributable anywhere in a cartoon character's body in this universe. This guy was really inspired by the amazing digital circus, you know? There's just a lot of similarities in the animation. It's not quite as good, it's not quite as well stylized, but I can see the inspiration that this, uh, that whoever made this took from that. I wish it was like that IRL. Oh yeah, dude, I'd like move my shit to my ass so fast. Got hips. Yeah, like, this is a real hourglass, man. This is like, some people like, Want, think like the the waist is the part that's supposed to be thin? Nah, bro. You need a big ass head, big ass pot belly, and then like skinny ass chest area. That's a real hourglass figure. Where the fuck did that come from? Tune space, right? What? I have no idea where this could be going. <laughs> what the? Fuck, dude! This shit is unbelievable! It, you couldn't- I could never think of this. This is, like, surrealist humor. This is like watching, uh, what's that one Adult Swim show with, like, the really on-purpose bad 3D animation? Xavier Renegade Angel. That is the closest comparison I could make. Retractable teeth? Goddamn. I don't even know what he's eating there. Is that, like, a chocolate bar or what? I- I have to know what this is being used for. Like, who is he trying to screw over here? Chewing tobacco? Alright. <laughs> Boomerang. I can't stop looking at the retractable teeth, but also, like, I'm immediately disgusted by them because the thought of losing a single tooth for me is a weird feeling. I don't, I don't think I'd like it. That shit looks like a little EXP bubble from God of War. You know, if this shit actually works, this is a really efficient way to, like, hit the bell without taking your eyes off the road and your hands off the steering wheel. Just, like, basically have a third arm. Ha! He's, he smells like shit after that. You know that. You know he does. Like, imagine just bathing in tar. Okay, this is the thing I've never understood in anthropomorphized animal universes. What is the difference between, like, the animals who get to wear clothes and have sentience and, like, exist in the world and the ones who are put in cages and sold, like, cattle? It, like, it feels unethical. Like, the, this, these two are smiling as if they have some sort of higher capable emotional function. But they're, they're still, like, on sale in cages. I don't get it. Dude, like, there's a legit caste system in the Steamboat Willie universe. I was gonna say, the udder is like bigger than his entire body, but the fat redistribution rule strikes again. Oh, that looks painful, dude. Oh, wait, do you guys know the guy who has a disease that make his testicles weigh like 80 pounds or some shit? And like his, the front of his pants are just fucking like ballooned? That's what this has got to feel like. I feel for you, man. I feel for you. Fallout boy, Cal. Elephantitis? I think it's something different. It, I thought it was ball specific. 80 pound testicles. Dan Moore from Battle Creek, Michigan has a rare condition called scrotal lymphedema, which le left him in chronic, constant pain and struggling to walk, shower, even use the toilet. Man, that's that's a real shame. I hope I hope there's like a cure for that, man. Wait, no. Whoever said Fallout Boy Cow, you're right. I just noticed that. Disney predicted Fallout Boy, dude. God, they're just a they, I think they're wouldn't be the first musicians that they bankrolled the superstar to. <laughs> Love how the screen just visibly starts shaking more when the boat comes on screen. It's like an effect that I that was a result of the cells sliding around, I think. <laughs>
<laughs> it had to back out, all right? All right, who will they kidnap from the dock? We taking bets? Uh, this is the first time I've seen this cow anything other than happy. I, I, he doesn't look absolutely perturbed yet, but I'm imagining he doesn't know what's about to happen to him. No, save him! Save him! You're grabbing him by the balls! Or I, I guess like his udders. What, what are the, what's the equivalent for that? Like titties? No, dude! That's crazy. You gotta tighten the cinch, bro. You have to unfasten it first. Don't look so damn happy about what you're putting this poor cow. Look at that, look at that. He's so joyous. Something else is suffering. That's the Disney I know and love. Oh, now he's anatomically closer to correct? Yeah, he's still not having a good time, but at least he's not, like, legit just being held by his nutsack. He's like, oh no, my bitch wife, I have to get out of here! Wasn't there a mountain in the, like, in the way, like, in the last shot? Damn, Minnie's got the- Minnie has absolute, like, speed on her. She's going Usain Bolt levels. Catching up to this boat. Look at this! She ain't even putting her arms into it. This is a light days of work for her. Oh, maybe he does love his wife. Please grab her from an appropriate place. No! It was not an appropriate place! Literally lifted her, her, her skirt first, dude. That's not cool! You can't do that! Perky in the straw. Hey, hey. Oh, so the cow ate meat. Okay, at least it, uh, it I, I guess it put it back. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. God damn, it just got like acid vat for stomach acid, man. Gen like genuinely corrosive, like liquids down there. Okay, he, he went through paper easy, right? I eat paper, not that hard. Eating a guitar, strings and all, that's crazy. Bro, listen, you're, I don't care how much like you've been putting into like your forearm strength, you are not beating this dude's jawline. Told you. Uh, I wish someone would do that to my inside. <laughs> Again, the age of the internet has recontextualized so many things that were innocent gags back in the day. Also, what is the plot here other than just flexing animation skills? The writers need to be fired. <laughs> Wait, is that where this image comes from? I feel like I've seen this screenshot of his like fucking mouth pride open like a bunch of times. Bit roast. Yeah, I was like really afraid Mickey was about to go in one end and Minnie was about to go in on the other and I was not looking forward to that. But he's just a jack in the box. It's all good. This is legit the Fortnite pog fish. He's making references to other things still funny because that's all I can do. Wait, where did Mickey go? Where did Mickey go? I missed where he, I don't, I looked away for one second and he was off screen and I'm like, please tell me he went to the left off screen and not inside the cow. Okay, he's leaving. He's, he left the time, he left the screen. He didn't go towards the center. This kind of goes hard. This song kind of goes hard. I can't even lie. You're not, you're not on beat at all, bro. You're trash at drums. Like, legit, you need to go, like, J.K. Simmons needs to put you through the paces because this is embarrassing. You're so out of sync, you can't even sync the drums to your playing. You're trash! Oh, this is what non-Earl Sweatshirt fans hear when, like, they listen to his music. You know we have to cook dinner with those later, right? Like, you're, you're putting your rat tail all over it, you're smacking spoons across, like, the rusty, unsanitized pots and pans. God, no wonder so many people fucking died of disease in the 20s. We have to wash clothes with that, Mickey! What are you doing?! Hardest AJR song. Damn! This world is so fucked up. The, the cat, natural predator of the mouse, is the lowly, unfeeling, unthinking little creature. The mouse is the, is the fucking top dog. Dude, what are you doing to him? What are you doing to him? Just fucking abusing these poor animals. This is he's like, this one's for Jerry, bitch. Fuck you. He just fucking steps on him. Dude, you you'd get stabbed if a video of you doing that came out today, bro. Bro! <laughs> what the fuck? He's about to like drop that shit down like Kratos does the blaze of chaos. Dude! He just don't give a fuck. He's about to choke out this duck. He was enjoying the performance too. I don't think Mickey has played a single on time or on pitch note. This track was heat. I would let Mickey get away with some animal abuse, all right? You know, sacrifices have to be made to make art. Come on, man, this is garbage. Tom McDonald instrumentals are more listenable than this dog. Dude, look, he's suffering. He can't breathe. That's, he's choking. He's a canon animal abuser. Bro, I'm about to abuse an animal when I see Mickey. He can get these fucking hands.
No, no, they're just fucking- They're little piglets, man. They're babies. Dude, don't do it. Bro, how have I never seen this? None of those are noises of joy. Every single one of them are squealing. Every single one of them are making pained noises. And he's just- He don't give a shit. He's doing- He got a fat ass smile on his face. He's enjoying this. No! That's their mother! No! Dude! Dude, dude, that is probably the worst one. This feel- that feels so fucking- that's so violating, bro! And he's making the kids watch! He's making the kids watch! Dude, I, the thumbnail for this video is gonna be something like a decrepit horror Mickey, because that's like what everybody, like, w will click on, but holy shit, this is so much worse than I thought it would be. You know, every animal that Mickey is abused, as long as they're not the one getting shit on, they don't seem to care too much about, like, what happens to the others. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, pretty literally, if I had to guess. This- dude, this is legit an analog horror. This is one of the best ones. And how long has this goat been forced to go on? His lungs must be about to give out. Horribly out of tune. White quality shit, bro. You need you an AT2020. That's what I got. Oh, you make sure you get you. Make sure you have an XLR port. That is not the sound a tongue would make. It's squishy and, and, ma and malleable. Oh yeah, dude, maybe the manager was always in the right, making sure Mickey stays in line and doesn't fucking beat up the entire livestock they have on board. <sighs> and you'll get what you fucking deserve! <laughs> yep, yep, fucking- yeah, give it to him, bud, give it to him! That's it? He just has to go through the potato bin? Okay, listen, if he- I would not give guy like this version of Mickey a knife or some shit. Having watched most of this now, I'm realizing that all the horror renditions people are gonna make of this original Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse are very in line with the original character, because oh my god, he is a menace. Dude, you're losing like the entire potato. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel good, does it now? No, don't do it. Ah, he, he wanted to fuck up one more bird just before he went away. You killed it! You killed it, man! And he's laughing about it. What a little sociopath. The end? Thank God it's over. Holy shit. See, that was the analog horror bit. That was horrifying. I never want to see that again. I can't believe that was the first time I watched it and I didn't realize all of what was in there. That fucked me up. Like, truthfully, very truthfully, I don't think I will leave this stream the same man as I went into it. Either way, did you know that if you're watching this on YouTube, you missed out? Because you got my entire first reaction to Steamboat Willie live on stream on twitch.tv slash quite, where I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Oh, God. That was rough. That was scarier than any try not to get scared challenge we've done.